Welcome to new video traveling with Mihailo Kimi. Our today's location is Tuzla. It's a small town in Bosnia and Herzegovina and the only place in Europe with salt lakes. No, it's not about the sea, it's about salt lakes. The only place in Europe with salt lakes. So, let's see it! A long time ago, here on Balkan, and in the middle of Europe was Pannonian Sea, and it disappeared 600,000 years ago. During the climate changes, Pannonian Sea disappeared, and the consequence is that you have very fertile land in the middle of Europe, like in Vojvodina, in part of Serbia, Hungary, Croatia as well. Today we have a big amount of salt here in Tuzla and it's about millions and millions of tons of salt and healthy water, salt water. We came inside and here we are Pannonica Lakes the only salt lakes in Europe. By the way, it's early morning, so my voice is so fucking shit. The name Pannonica Lakes is really connected with Pannonian Sea that was here on Balkan long time ago. And you can see that connection Pannonica, Pannonian, like lakes, sea, salt, salt as well here. So yeah, there's that connection. Here you will find three different lakes as you can see on this map. And they are really good organized. These lakes are organized like some kind of swimming pool, but the water inside of it is like full of salt, full of different minerals, especially is good for sterility, rheumatic, and respiratory diseases. And this part is organized like swim pool, so you can see the edges and everything, but it's still good, it's salt water inside. Probably you can rent some of these bikes to to drive around the lakes, open air gym. You can find these waterfalls as well, and they are really beautiful. Yeah, as you can see, these lakes are in the middle of the city, so it's really good opportunity if you find some some accommodation in the middle of the city in the center of town it's really good because everything is really nearby uh, right here I'm on the top and the view is really beautiful it's not so high but it's good so what I really like about Bosnia, the prices are really good, like this beer is like one euro or something like that for lake and everything, it's really really cheap. This area is very famous by producing salt for centuries and even the name of this city means salt works. Dur during the past the name was changing a lot of times and some of names we can see on this building here. Let's see. As you can see, here is Salinas, it's on Latin. The other one is Soli, it's South Slavic. The other one is Tuzla, it means from Turkish word Tuz, what means salt, and then they convert it in Tuzla. The first written words about Tuzla dates from 950. That year, Byzantine 
emperor and historian Constantine Porfirogranitos wrote the, the Imperando Imperior he wrote the Administrando Imperior or how to how to manage the empire and he explicitly mentioned Tuzla as a city under Roman name Salinas which means the city of salt and he mentioned that it was a part of country of Serbian Prince Chaslav who died in battle with Hungarians some other places that you can visit here in Tuzla are the Square of Freedom that's this one so you can see maybe uh, and it's the biggest square in Bosnia Herzegovina the other square very famous is Sony Square where you can find Neolith Bowl uh, which is implemented in some fountain and it's really good with uh, with some mosaic from Ravenna you know the city in Italy very interesting story and some people say that it is a fact that the king of France Louis XIV or Louis the Sun King was buying salt from Tuzla for his palace the salt is not the only thing why Tuzla is famous the other thing why Tuzla is famous is this archaeological park with uh, 7,000 years old houses I mean these houses are rebuilt but in old style Thanks to archaeological evidences, uh, scientists, archaeologists find, found out that people here 7,000 years ago were producing salt as well. Like today they are producing salt still, so that's some kind of tradition here in Tuzla. They found a lot of pieces of evidences like ceramics bowls, some axes, hammers or all these interesting things, so it helps to find out how people were living here 7,000 years ago unfortunately here on Balkan uh, governments in almost every country is really corrupted so they don't want to invest a lot of money in culture and personally I know because I'm from the place which is old 8,000 years so it's really really difficult to rebuild something again here on Balkan governments just don't want to invest money in culture they don't want to invest money in all of it but if they would it would be great to keep our identity and our culture and I mean hey it's 7,000 years old place or 8,000 years old place it's really good to know more about that place and to keep it and to rise it and yeah in some future videos I will make video by, about my place because it's 8,000 years old place so yeah that's really good to know I think that people should know about all these places a lot of places with ice cream and I suggest you to try Burek you have to try Burek if you're in Bosnia Herzegovina and of course Cevapi or Cevap Chichi so let's go to try something let's hear how it looks huh? service here in Tuzla is very good in two locals we came five minutes before closing and they were like okay we will make everything for you so we ate Cevapi and now in the second one we are drinking beer perfect we bought a magnet here it's like one euro it's very cheap so I suggest you to come here in this street and to buy some magnets 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and see you in the next video.